American Abstract Artists is an artist organization here in the city to uh, promote the idea of abstract art. This year is their 80th anniversary. One of the things I was trying to bring out in the show was the way that as abstraction has evolved, uh, increasingly color itself becomes the subject of a painting rather than a still life or a king or a landscape. It's really the exploration of paint itself and color itself and how that can be deployed on the canvas or in three dimensions with some of the sculptures. This is a painting by Vincent Longo. He's exploring a lot of different kinds of color uh, in a more geometric, a more hard-edged way coming out of uh, Modrian or some of the uh, work of that period. A very animated canvas. This is a painting by Roger Jorgensen from 1953. And I chose this sort of as a follow-up to the Longo uh, because it's a much brushier style, a much more open, loose painting style. And this one too sort of has historical tiebacks to someone like Gorky or Picasso and sort of that kind of a mindset about painting. This is a sculpture by Ronald Bladen. Uh, this is called Flying Fortress. And this is made of wood, but the artist also built works in steel. One of the interesting aspects of sculpture is that if you're working from the notion of deploying color or especially color field painting and the painting becoming an object, of course the sculpture is an object that will exist in the same space as the viewer. It's been a great opportunity for me to learn about a whole bunch more artists that I hadn't heard of before. Um, there's some sort of better known names in the mix or some less known names in the mix, but I think it's all at an incredibly high level of work. Uh, and so that's exciting to see all together.